Alright, hey guys, what's up? This is Ninja Gamer of Ninja Gamer 101, and today uh, I decided that I wanted to teach you guys how to make a good thumbnail in Photoshop. So, uh, I make thumbnails like this, and uh, it seems like a lot of people actually like them. So, I figured that I would give a tutorial. Why not? So, before we get started on this video, you guys already know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, hit that bell, and uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get straight into this. So, before we actually get started, I just wanted to point out a few things. So, we have the renders here, we have backgrounds, uh, a few shapes here and there, and then title card, text, gradients, all that different kind of stuff. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use those, how to make those, uh, stuff like that, with the exception of renders because I don't know how to make those and I'll show you guys how to get all of that. So, let's go ahead and start a new project. So, if we bring this over here, you can see that I already have my um, preset ready. 1920 by 1080, uh, 1080 resolution, all those different settings. So let's go ahead and create that. Uh, we can exit out of this, we don't need that anymore. So, the first thing that we're gonna need for a thumbnail is a background. So, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna say that we're gonna make a Sonic Generations background since pretty much everyone on this channel knows Sonic and that's what I, I guess, brought up this channel on. So, let's go ahead and transfer over to my third display real quick. And you can see that I've already searched up some backgrounds. So, we have a bunch to select here. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and choose this one because it's 1280 by 720 and uh, these always fit perfectly into our uh, 1080p screen right here. So let's go ahead, click copy image, and then come back over here, click on it, and then control V. And you'll see that it is um, smaller than the white here, but there's a very easy way to fix that. Just hit control T. And this is on Windows, I don't know how it is on Mac, but if you're on Windows, then you hit Control T, default, and then you can just drag these over to the corners, and then there you go. That's your background. Very, very easy. But, as you can see, uh, it does look a little bit pixely here and there. Uh, it doesn't look that good. So, uh, this background isn't going to be the main focus anyway, usually. So what I usually do is I like to go to Filter, Blur, and then Gaussian Blur. And you can see here that it's already blurred out a little bit, but we have um, this choice of how much blur we give it. So we can give it a bunch of blur, which doesn't look good. We can give it a little bit, we can give it this much. I usually keep it around from uh, 2.5 to Five. That's usually as much as you need. So we're just gonna do, uh, let's do, let's do three. Three should be fine. So hit OK, and then there you go. That's your background. So the next thing that we're gonna need to get is a uh, actual Sonic render. So I have a bunch of these uh, downloaded. I like literally have been collecting these for what's it like two three years now and I've gotten a lot of them from different people uh, I have both modern Sonic renders I have classic Sonic uh, Dreamcast I have a bunch of renders for us to choose here so I'm gonna show you guys where I got these before we continue on so let's go back to display 3 so, we can exit out of there, and then, so, I follow all of these different people on DeviantArt, and sadly, you will have to go on DeviantArt to get most of these, if you want to get high resolution ones. Uh, usually, all you have to do is just search Sonic renders to, uh, to find them, but I'm just going to give you guys the best makers of Sonic renders for these. Uh, there's also makers for Mario renders, 
uh, Smash Bros. renders, whatever, on here, as you would expect. So, just search for those different kinds of people and what style you want for your thumbnails, and you can easily find whatever you might want. But, going back to, uh, shoot, going back to our file here. So let's go back to display two. Uh, I have all of these to choose from. So this is a Sonic Generations um, thumbnail. So we're gonna want to look for something that fits that style or at least looks good. So let's scroll through these real quick. And uh, hmm, here's one right here. And we also want to make sure that it's a high resolution one. It is. So, we can pick this one. So let's go ahead and just drop it, drag it over, and there you go. It's already resized for the thumbnail. So we can usually just bring it over to the sides here or here. That's usually what you want to put it for a thumbnail like this. But for the sake of this, let's just leave it over here for now. Anyway. So the next thing that you're going to want to get is uh, something that I like to call a title card. And again, I've gotten a lot of these online, but um, most of these I've actually made myself. And uh, I have, let me pull this up real quick, let me switch over to display three. I actually have a lot of them in uh, my channel here that I've made. I haven't uploaded all of them, but I'm going to. So uh, you can go ahead and follow me here as well if you want to get some good title cards. I always make mine, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty proud of them. So let's go back to display two. Again, this is a Sonic Generations uh, thumbnail. So we want to search for something that fits that style. And usually, you would see people that are like sty starting out just look for Sonic Generations title cards. They would usually search up Sonic Generation title card in Google and then find this. I've seen this a lot in uh, starting Sonic tubers or whatever. Uh, do not use this title card. It's not like super bad, but it's super generic and it isn't all that detailed either. It doesn't look all that clean. So just just avoid using this one altogether. So, again, let's go to our title cards, and let's find something that fits this style. So, if we scroll down, um, I'm going to find, let's see, where is it? Ah, here we go. Some old Sonic Generations uh, title cards that I've made. So, there's this white one, and then there's this blue one, and then somewhere here. Ah, here we go. This is my favorite one the white with the blend. So if we bring this over, you'll get to see what it looks like. So I gave this one a gradient and uh, a shadow. So there we go. This one looks a lot nicer in my opinion. At least. So we can go ahead and drop this one in between the render and the background here. So it's in the between so we don't need to do anything else with it. So now we have the Sonic Runner in, in front of the title card. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and press Control T again. And just to make it a little bit nicer, make it fill up more of the screen, we can just make Sonic a little bit bigger. And right now, to keep the proportions, I'm holding Shift while I'm doing this, because this will keep it uh, fine and dandy. So there we go. Sonic is resized, uh, he's bigger on screen, and it looks very nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and go uh, right click on the render, click blending options, and then give it just a slight drop shadow to make it a little bit better, to make this a little bit less opacity. Hit OK, there we go. Sometimes I like to add strokes to it, but uh, sometimes I'll have to cut out little dots here and there that appear. So usually I'll just give it a shadow and then leave it be so afterwards we need um we need the sonic generations logo so i believe i have that downloaded somewhere and uh let's see generations please tell me i have this downloaded 
Oh, yeah, okay. So, usually I like using this one because it actually looks more modern and whatnot. And it's a lot higher resolution as well. But we gotta remove this too. So, we go ahead and use this tool right here. Uh, the polygonal lasso, lasso tool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post up on the uh, logo with control plus and control minus. Shut up PC. And what I'm gonna do is just surround the two. Shut up PC, I don't need you to do that. I'm gonna surround this two with this uh, lasso and just keep on clicking until I get to the circle right there. And then, there we go, we have this two selected. So let's zoom back out with control minus. And now, we want to rasterize this so we can actually cut it out. So, what I'd like to do is just right click on this on the right side, uh, rasterize layer. And then all you gotta do now is just hit the delete button. And then now, you have a very nice Sonic Generations logo right there. So we can bring this over here. There we go. Looks pretty nice. Uh, I can go ahead and cut more of this uh, shadow right here. It's looking kind of weird. So let's go ahead and just cut that real quick. Delete it. And there we go. Alright. So the last thing that we need for a thumbnail like this, especially if it's like a playthrough or something like that, is you need to designate what part it is of your video series or what it is that you're doing for the video. This is usually the part where you bring in gradients the most. So, I have a bunch of fonts downloaded, custom fonts, uh, game fonts, stuff like that, and I favorite all these just so I know where they are. Um, I also have the Sonic font that, fun fact, is the actual one that uh, Sega uses to make the, uh, the logos, so you can see it matches pretty much perfectly. But we don't need that one right now because that one doesn't look as nice here, so let's pick another font. Uh, let's see, hmm, let's go with, uh, let's go with Kimber Kimberly for now. And uh, also, another fun fact, this is the font that CoBonnerMary456 used to use in his thumbnails, so if you want to get that, then you, that's an easy Google search and you can use that as well. It looks very nice. But let's go ahead and use Kimberly right now. So let's say that since uh, this background is of Green Hill and Sonic Generations, let's say for now that this is part one of say, a Sonic Generations playthrough. So, all you need to do is uh, type out part 1. Uh, let's change the color for this one, so go up there and make it white. Alright. Then, get out of there. Let's do that. Control T that. Bring it over here. And, uh, Photoshop actually has these lines, so you can, uh, perfectly line up, uh, things with the, uh, what's it, the logo and whatnot. So let's go ahead and resize this again. Hold shift, bring it over like that. Uh, we can also change the, uh, font size. Let's make this like a... That should be good for now at least. Let's resize it again. There we go. So we can resize this, the right in the middle of this logo. That looks to be in the middle right there. So we can just keep it there. Okay, go to blending options when you right click the T there. And let's go to gradient. So I already, already have a bunch of gradients that I've used in the past. And I also have a lot of styles that I've downloaded, like literally hundreds. Uh, but for the sake of this, let's just make this super, super, super simple. So 
Uh, normally for you, it's gonna be at 100% opacity, but uh, you're not gonna have that many uh, gradients. All you're gonna have is just the default here, usually. But um, in order to make a new gradient, all you have to do is just go to one of these, and then you can change the color like this. Uh, say you want it like uh, I don't know, a white to black gradient. So you can change this one to white. Change this one to middle gray. Change this one to black. And you have yourself a nice black to white gradient that is very nice looking. So, and you can also save whatever gradients you uh, create with new, and then it will just put it right there or next to the next one that you have, and it will save you the trouble for next time. So just hit OK after you're done, and you can already see that the gradient is taking place on this thing. But um, it doesn't actually match with the logo or the background or anything like that. So again, let's make a custom gradient. So uh, I actually have some to choose from already that I've downloaded and that I've made. This one is Sonic Unleashed colored, but that's not what we're, what we're using right now. This one is more so Sonic Generations, so we can go ahead and use that one. Hit OK, and it's a little bit more uh, bright than this one, so we can lower the opacity just a tad to make it uh, better. Let's put it to 50, I guess. 50 should be fine. And you'll usually want to keep it either uh, linear or reflected. You usually won't be using radial, angle, or diamond, I would say, for this kind of thing. But yeah, there you go, we have the gradient. But it also has this blue outline here, right? So let's go ahead and add some strokes. So, want to hit the plus button there so we can have the two different shades of blue right there. So, let's enable both of these. Uh, set one as six. One as, uh, I'll say 10. 10 should be fine. So we can go ahead and grab that color right there for the outline, like the first outline right there. And then the second one, again, click it, and then select the color there. And now we have our blue outline there. So the final thing that we need to do for this text is just to give it a drop shadow to make it look uh, slightly better. You can modify the shadow a little bit. Uh, I don't usually change it all that much, but it does help to know how to do that. So now that is done, and now we have our completed thumbnail. We have a title card, we have a render, background, nice text, and we have our logo. So there you have it. That is how to make a Photoshop thumbnail for YouTube. Um, and this one was an example of Sonic Generations again. So there you go. Hope that helped you guys. And uh, hope now that a lot of you guys are better at making your thumbnails. So anyways, I want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, of course, please leave a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell. And uh, yeah. Thanks again for watching, and uh, happy thumbnail making. Anyway, peace, my ninja fam, and take care.